It's me, Helio the math robot. I was feeling bored, so I thought, why not learn how to make a paper boat? To make a paper boat, I will need to measure some paper. Do you know how to measure the length of paper? Let's do it together. We can measure length with the help of standard units of measurement. And there are different units of measurement. Do you know what they are? They are millimeter, centimeter, meter and kilometer. We'll start with centimeter and meter. Let's begin. Step 1 says, cut the paper in a square shape. 5 cm or 1 m each side. Hmm, but what does cm and m mean? I'll tell you, cm is short for centimeter and m is short for meter. But which of the standard units should I use to measure the length of this paper? Meter or centimeter? Let's find out. When we have to measure longer lengths for bigger objects, we use meters. For example, the length of a couch, the length of this table, the length of a long rod can be measured in meters. We can even measure how tall we are with the help of meters. So a person's height can be measured in meters. Isn't that amazing? Oh, but we can't measure this paper in meters as it is smaller in size. Let's see if we can measure it in centimeters. We use centimeters to measure shorter lengths of comparatively smaller objects. For example, we can measure a tiffin box, a water bottle, a pencil and a book in centimeters. Can you guess what can be measured in centimeters? Now that we know paper can be measured in centimeters, let's get that paper and cut open a square. While cutting the paper, make sure that each side of the square is exactly 5 centimeters. Now let us take a scale and start measuring. Make sure that the zero on the scale is on the corner of the paper. Now move along the scale to where it's marked 5. That means we have measured 5 centimeters of paper. You have helped me mark 5 centimeters on one side of the square. I need to mark out the other side to make a perfect square. Till I do that, why don't you solve another exercise? Look at my square! It looks so perfect! Thank you for your help! Have you wondered how these units of measurement are related? Let's find out! Let's begin with millimeters. It is the smallest unit we use to measure length. 10 millimeters makes 1 centimeter. We can count 100 centimeters on a scale. When we count 100 centimeters on a scale, we get 1 meter. When we count 1000 meters, we get 1 kilometer. The unit of kilometers is so big. That's why we use the unit of kilometers to measure bigger lengths such as the length of roads. Now I'm going to go back and complete my boat. Until then, Let's recollect what we did today. That was very good. Look at my boat. I even named her Tilly. Now I'm going to go and play with Tilly. See you soon. Bye.